Well, and she's just started with a new coach. His name is Dmitry Tursnov, former coach, of course, of Annette Kontovait and Arina Sabalenka. Well, I wonder if Radikanu's message from Her Majesty the Queen is something she's been thinking about just recently. It happened after she won that US Open title. Quite pertinent at this point as we see the Ukrainian flag so we know 
Those fans are supporting this young woman, the 22-year-old Diana Yastremska from Odessa. She's five foot seven, one meter 70. Currently the world number 89, but has been the world number 21. That was back in 2020. Best major performance is a fourth round appearance at the 29 Wimbledon Championship. And she's now coached by Sasha Bajin for the second time after Bajin and Karolina Pliskova broke up recently. Has three titles to her name and almost $3 million in career prize money. First WTA title came in 2018 at the Hong Kong Open where she didn't drop a set. That moved her into the top 100. Won two titles in 2019. That was her first full year on tour. Took the Hua Hin title in Thailand, beating the likes of Gabina Muguruza and Ayla Tomlanovic, and then won in Strasbourg, overcoming Irina Sabalenka and Caroline Garcia. These two meeting for the very first time on the WTA Tour. And it'll be interesting to see how this one gets started. Yastremka has enormous power off both sides. It hasn't been the most consistent of late. Tom Sweeney in the umpire chair. He's from Australia. And no doubt we'll have very few problems. We are using lines people once again this week. No electronic line calling. And the temperature has dropped just slightly as evening has drawn in. 22 degrees Celsius, 71 degrees Fahrenheit. There's just a slight breeze. Players earlier today on this court had to contend with a little bit of sun, but Radicanu and We're on centre courts, and Eva Raducanu is about to make her debut at this tournament. Now coached by Dmitry Tersnov, while Diana Yastremska also has a new coach in Diana Sasha Yastremska. Bajin. Ready. And she will begin this Play. one. Yastremska to serve. There's some of that incredible power that Yastremka possesses off both wings. That time with a nice short forehand angle. It really does go pretty much 100% on every shot. Comes into this match with 19 wins and 20 defeats on the season. Seven and ten win loss record on the hard courts. Ben nice, three to seven. And confidence not particularly Defense. high, you'd have to say.
And that's something that Raducanu will just have to accept. This drum scope blows hot and cold. And she's blowing hot. You just need to stay in there. Keep asking a few questions. Kanu pulling off that forehand. Always a few nerves in the early stages. The players looking to settle nice and quickly. Well, it's a good service game from Yastremska. She's on the board, holding to 30. Radukanu's win loss record for the 22 season stands at 13 and 16. Six and nine on the hard courts. Tom Sweeney letting Yastremska know about the towel buckets. There's one and three and two and four. Radicanu looking for her first win in three, having lost to Elise Cornet at the US Open and to Jesse Pagula in Cincinnati. Overall, the Cincinnati tournament was a very successful one, though. The honour of playing Serena Williams in the first round, whom she beat 6 4, 6 love. 40 love. And she also handed out a bagel set when she played Victoria Azarenka in the second round, beating Vika 6 love, 6 2. Radicano holds to love. Nice finish. And both players on the board. And out of it. One game. Huge hitting from Yastremska. Really gets her body weight through the ball.
is that niche. It's been a really strange season Sergio. for Diana Ostromska. Really did have a good start. A couple of wins in Adelaide. Did well both at Dubai and Lyon. That's a beautiful backhand. All that was while terrible things were going on in her homeland. You might remember the pictures of her and her younger sister leaving Ukraine, leaving her family. Found their way to Lyon in France, where she reached the final of that tournament the next week. for a little too much from behind the baseline on that forehand, but she's got a little room to play with here. It's the ball pretty flat. So when the contact isn't quite right, the ball can go flying. Great return from Vatikanu. That's the area of the court that she calls the cage. Goes straight back at her opponent's feet. It makes the server have to react very fast indeed. It doesn't give them any angle. So this game's got a little bit more complicated. 40 love to 40 30. Well done from Radicano to get that serve back in play. Stremska not quite sure what to do with the next ball. It was low and short. Totally undercooked the drop shot. That's a good second serve. Ball sliding into Radicanu's body. Got another chance to move 2 1 in front. Well, this game will go on. Stremska coming into this match on a seven match losing run. Hasn't won a set. <laughs> Trying to turn things around here. And beaten by Madison Keys at the US Open. That was. Quite a close first set, 7-6, lost the second one, 6-3. And a double Ingram, fault hands, Radokano. Emma Raducanu, an early break. Came out Radokano of nowhere, Radokano. here's Trump's grab, 40 love. Raducanu now on the front foot.
Both players deep in thought during the changeover. Diane Yastrzemska spent quite a lot of time looking at her left hand. She's got some work to do now. Already down a break against the top seed here. But there are only six places between them in the world rankings. Good way to work the points. Radicanu moving nicely. We saw Dmitry Tersnov watching in the change of ends. It's a new partnership. One which will perhaps be a little bit more successful than that of Torben Belts. Angie Kerber's longtime coach, of course, joining up with Radicanu. Last the best part of seven months or so. Well, it's a wild miss. Yastrzemska yeah, in a great position there. Pretty set, Mitch. 30 luck. Tough when you get into a bad run have that belief on the big points, on the easy shots. Shiestremska needs to play with a little bit more margin. Certainly has a great game. But right now letting Radicano off the hook. Last win for Yastremska was against Yelena Ostapenko, the top seed in Birmingham. Yastremska managing to win that one, 7-5 in the third. Digra. That was a few Radicano. months ago, though, now on the Birmingham grass in June. As Radicanu holds and leads 3-1. Three, three, three games to one. I think once your strengths get hit it, it's short, certain that one was in. Yeah, just wide. Good call. Despite the ranking drop, Radikan, who does remain as the British number one, just a few places ahead of Harriet Dart, who failed to qualify here. Dart did win a round. The qualifying has been unbelievably strong, as is the main draw. Too good from Yastremska. Three to set, over. Thirty. Not much Radicano can do when Yastremska is hitting the ball that well. What a fabulous return. Great depth on that, and Radicanu has another chance to break. Kept 
kept it pretty simple here. Starts off with an excellent first serve. Enaki. Yes. Played Raducanu, staying as close to the baseline as she possibly can. Something that she really did so well, wasn't it? At the 21 US Open. Stood in for second serves. Tried to control the baseline, taking the ball early. Difficult thing to do. Your timing has to be spot on. Looks like she slightly changed her return position under Tersonov. Staying nice and low, and she gets it at the second attempt. Raducanu now with a little bit more breathing room. She's got two breaks and a 4-1 lead. Sweeney in the umpire's chair for this one. And he's overseen five games, four of which have gone Emma Raducanu's way. She's got to do better than that with the second serve. Once again, Radicanu defending beautifully there, picking out those two balls on the backhand side.
but no steward the set. 15-40. A little bit of a drop off here and Raducanu has offered her opponent a chance to break back. First break points here for Yerstramska. Takes it at the first attempt. And right now only one break of serve separates them. Four games to two. Mistramska with a better winning percentage behind the second serve than the first right now. Goes for the backhand and again doesn't quite get around the outside of the ball. Awful lot of left wrist involved in that shot. Make sure it doesn't go wide. Nitch, free to set. Third double fault for the Ukrainian, who hails from Odessa. That's very close. In fact, I think it's one or two streets away from where Alina Svitolina grew up. Hot bed of tennis activity coming out of Odessa. Hopefully they'll be able to return there at some point in the near future. Well, having just broken, things were looking up for Diana Yastremska. She has just handed the advantage right back. Goes for too much once again. That backhand down the line isn't working yet for Yastremska. She's broken for a third time. Yastremska with a 5-2 lead. is now serving for this opening set against Diana Yastremska, a player she's meeting for the first time on the Hologic WTA Tour.
Matching fire with fire on that point. Eventually gets the error. Overall, Raducanu is quite pleased with her year overall. Said with perspective, actually, as a 19-year-old, to be top 100. If you told me that a year ago, I'd take it. This is, of course, her first full season on the Logic WTA Tour. That takes some getting used to mentally as well as physically. Radicanu has had quite a few injury problems as well as blisters on both hands and feet. Kostromska taking out the uh, WTA board. Quite amused as doing so. But it's Emma Radicanu who will have a smile on her face. She's got three set points. Second double. Still looking for her first ace of the match. And that will do it. Good serve from the juice court. Um, Adekanu takes the opening sets. Six games. Well, the fans here on centre court haven't had much to get into yet in this opening round match at the Slovenia Open. You see Zava Robol Nitsa Sava in Potorot. We're on the Adriatic coast. Quick correction from Tom Sweeney there. So yes, Shremska will get to repeat the first serve.
Well, Stremska has wins over the likes of Clara Towson, Madison Brengel, Irina Camellia Begu. She's beaten Jasmine Paolini. Thank you. Thank you. And Serana Castea here. That one, of course, over Ostapenko as well. The rub of the green there. But just recently, Fruity it's been all defeats for Dejan Stremska. Started with a loss to Zhang Shui in Birmingham. Donna Vekic gave her just two games in Eastbourne. Anna Bogdan. Well, that was a 6 2 6 2 win for the Romanian at Wimbledon. At Washington, Victoria Azarenka beat your Stremska 6 4 6 love. Petra Martic lost just four games in Cincinnati. In Cleveland, it was Cornet who allowed Yastrzemska three games. And then the Yastrzemska took Madison Keys to a first set tie break before losing 7-6, 6-3 in Flushing Meadows, New York. So with this set added in, that's 15 sets lost in a row. Seven matches overall. But a good start here in set two for Stremska holds to 15. First game, second set. And as the players change ends, we'll have a quick look at the first set summary, 31 minutes encounter, where Emma Raducanu was pretty solid behind serve, particularly the first serve. Lost just two points of 11 and had over a 50% success rate behind the second serve as well. That's excellent from the British number one. Total points, well, she had 14 more as well. Three breaks from four opportunities. All the numbers in Raducanu's favor. Needs a little bit more racket drop on that back end. Just a bit too flat. Got to continue to make those little adjustments when you make mistakes. If everything's going right, just keep on doing what you're doing. Well, that's huge from Mistremska. Out of position on that right hand side. Could have said Ben Nice. 30 15. It's an acute ankle. Another one, back-to-back -back forehand cross-court winners. And from 30 love, we're back to 30 all. But 
Raducanu leaving her shot a little bit too short. Big come on from Raducanu. She's earned herself a game point. Stuart the set, three to set. 40 first. Raducanu saying she's playing with a clean slate now, all those points from the US Open have dropped off. It's a chance to start again. Hopefully, not have such a big target on her back. Just begin here as the top seed. So her pre-tournament ranking was high enough. So a couple of winners there from Yastremska, but couldn't tie any more together. Hold for Radikani. As well as on that seven match losing streak, Yastremska has also lost 11 of her last 13 matches. That nice niche. 15 left. Starting the year, of course, with that final in Lyon. Got to the quarterfinals in Dubai as a qualifier, and the quarterfinals in Bogota. Hasn't managed to find that consistent form, though. Got to be in there somewhere. Oh. That certainly nice. won't help oh. her mood or her chances. Double fault number four, the first of the set though. Oh, it's a beautifully constructed point. Earns the short ball and then really ramps up the racket head speed. It's not the easiest forehand, low and short, need to get that up and down quickly. A few Ukrainian flags in the fans. That's a stunning return of serve. Carnival has that low athletic position on returning serve and during the point. Chasing shadows on that point, though. Strumska holding the ball on a racket, waiting for her opponent to make a move. Yep. Just keep. long. Really good return again from Radicani. 
Seems to be reading the Yastrzemska Square very nicely. Well, it did appear to be in, didn't it? Well, called out um, too far for Tom Sweeney, really, to call it from. Difficult line. So instead of a game point for Yastrzemska, it's a break point for Radicanu. Double faults. So, yes, Tremska's serve is broken for the fourth time. Radicano body and Radicanu strides to, to her bench. She's got a set and now a break lead. Radicanu off her seat nice and fast. She's got the advantage now here in set two. And Radicanu has taken this tournament very seriously indeed. Arrived on Wednesday, started practicing on Thursday. Getting used to the conditions with new coach Dmitry Tersonov. Important for them. Two of them to establish some chemistry and the best ways of working with each other. Tersnov, of course, had immense success with both Irina Sapolenka and with Annette Kontovet. What a year Annette Kontovet had last year. Went on a run at the end of the 21 season, made the WTA Tour Finale in Guadalajara. Nice Tovet really has struggled, though, to defend those points. It is a very different mindset, something that Paolo Bedosa has also had trouble with, and Maria Sacri, just to name a few. Sits in there from the Estremska racket. Oh. 
Well, that's too good. Radicanu seeding quite a lot of court there. Needs to try our best and hold the line. Just trying to absorb the power off the Ukrainians' racket. Too good again. <laughs> Fabulous backhand from Nostremska. So a chance of coming up with the boomerang break. It's a beautiful shot, isn't it? She really hits it cleanly. Shoulders over the ball, full extension with the racket. Then she'll do that miss by quite some margin. radicano has been using the wide sliding serve from the juice courts. I wonder after that backhand miss from Ustremska if she'll go down the tee here. Serve. Good Brandon. first shots. Right and a chance to consolidate the break. It's been a solid, if not spectacular, performance here from the top seed so far. Very little you can do about that, though. Beautiful return. Yes. Very much feast or famine for Yastremska. Another excellent backhand down the line. So tough for right-handers because they recover to the slight left part of that middle mark. That's where the natural recovery is. You've got more court to cover when you go to your right. Break point number two. Oh, that's well played. The backhand before the forehand winner was crucial. Once again, staying so low in that shot, using her legs beautifully. Forehand goes sailing. Game point number two. This is the third main draw match here on centre court today. Third and final. Main draw play got underway with a thrilling three-setter between Ekaterina Alexandrova and Marta Kostyuk. 
Beatrice had admired the second seed, got the better of Clara Towson. So a couple of return errors back to back. And a hold for Emma Raducanu. Three games away now. She could face the daughter of Hannah Mandukova if she wins this match. Elizabeth Mandlick, who really made a name for herself at the US Open, is on a wild card here, as is Raducanu. Oh, it's too good. Lovely backhand cross court angle. Catches this right in the strike zone again, leaning into the ball. Good early contact. And too hot to handle once again. Greatest niche. Thirty love. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. The yeah, Ostrom script, full stretch. And able to control the racket face. 40 50. Excellent little volley clipped around this side of the ball. A good response from Radicanu. Herself at full stretch for that forehand return. 40 30. Takes an awful lot of ab strength, leg strength to hit that shot without pulling away. Shrem's got one more chance, get a second game registered here. Chris Pump from Radicanu. Juice. This game back to Juice. She looked very focused, hasn't she, throughout? Goes sailing. Anarchy. Trying to get round the serve here, the Brand forehand. The Didn't quite get the contact point out in front. And that's another oh, misreturn. Uh, yes, 
So a hard fought holds. Radakanu still in good spot here. Up a set and a break. Diane Stremska continues to meditate at the change of ends. Has been working recently with a psychologist, as many of the players on the Logic WTA Tour do. Mental side of this very difficult sport, worth paying attention to. points Radicanu it's fizzing the ball managing to hit needed. with both power and precision she'll be very aware of the danger that Shostromska does pose just never know when the Ukrainian might go on a run Shostromska unlike Radicanu did play this tournament last year it was beaten by the eventual champion that was Jasmine Paolini in the first round Paulini was actually up a set and 4-1 when Yastremska retired. Once again, showing us all what she's absolutely capable of doing. Has been as high as number 21 in the world rankings. That was a couple of years ago. She was just 20 years old. Karina said, bet nice. Yes, Trump's going moving a little bit laterally to that serve rather than cutting it off by moving diagonally. The ball's got slice on it, so it's moving away from the Ukrainian. That's oh, another excellent serve. Oh, a bullet of a serve. First ace of the match for Radicanu, and it gives her a 4 2 lead. Temperature is dropping now, 19 degrees Celsius. Early in the day, it was about 26 degrees. 
currently 10 minutes to 9 p.m. local time. She's overdone it. That was a real chance. Loves that for one cross court. Had a lot of spin on it, didn't it? At first, it appeared like it was going wide. Good overall from Tom Sweeney. That's a scorcher of a forehand down the line. Working with Sasha Bajin for the second time. In their first stint together, he said that Yastrzemska's a great mover, has incredible power. She showed both on that point. Again, the consistency. Judith said over. 30. Not doing quite enough to stay in the point, earn that short ball, earn the chance to attack. It's plan A all the way by Diana Yastrzemska. Three to set. Forty thirty. There you go. Well, that's yes, an Jemska. excellent delivery. Yes, Jemska keeping herself in the conversation here. She holds again, but trails 4-3 in the second set.
Emma Raducanu, two games away from victory. Has faced two break points in the set, but seen them both off. Fantastic return. All that was left to do was hit the easier backhand into the court. Bit nice, Nick. Fifteen left. That's a phenomenal return. Radicanu has now won seven of ten points behind the second serve. Still a very good percentage. Getting serve. Shamshka as well. Hasn't really found the solution to that serve. Going for a big shot down the line. A little bit quick Pretty from that simple. double fault. Thirty. Kicker, you want to let the ball drop a little bit and hit up on it. The idea is to have good margin over the net, it's a safe serve. Goes with the slicer again, but perhaps a little predictable. So didn't quite get 30, the precision four. of the last serve. She went there with. So now it's Diana Ostromska with a break point opportunity. It's her third of the set. And a chance to get back on terms. Shemska earned the short ball. It was low and short. Didn't really hit through the ball. Instead, and as she hit it, was moving backwards. Radakanu again relieved to get away with that one. There's Dmitry Tesnov. how he feels about this performance. Red not. Difficult really to know Red what to up. say when you play Diana Stremska. It's very much on your Stremska's rackets, how the outcome of her matches go. Quite often her opponent is pretty much a bystander for most of it.
Wasn't going to miss that one. Up to it nice and early. Very important to take that shot above net height if possible. One of the longest games of the match so far. But again, this time this is the forehand right down the line long rather than wide. So a deep breath from Radicani, chance to compose herself. And that will do that. So, Radicano edging towards victory here. Needs just one more game. Radicano body bet three. Five games to three. Save three break points. Can Diana Yastrzemska continue her tournament? It's a wild forehand, and the racket goes flying. What on earth happened there? Yastrzemska has been doing her own wrist strapping. Well, that one obviously didn't feel at all good.
Oh, it looks like we're going to call it a day here. Ladies and gentlemen, Judy Indri, Mrs. Skremska is retiring from the match. Oh, that's a real shame. Out of Emma Raducanu, two points away from victory. On the first set, six games to two. Five three up in the second. 30 love. But no way, realistically, that Yastremska could continue. And that's the first smile we've seen from Edda Brown and Kanu. Totally focused throughout the match. You really have to be against someone like Yastremska who can blow so hot and cold. Can't lose your focus for a second. So Yastremska gets a nice round of applause as she walks off her tournament over. Raducanu will be moving on to the second round. She takes it 6-2, 5-3, retired. Well, it's been a very good day of action here. Main draw Monday. All began with a three-set thriller, Ekaterina Alexandrova getting the better of Marta Kostuk. That match lasting almost three hours. Bertrice had admired, overcame Clara Towson in two. The first set was very competitive. Had admired winning it on a tie break and then Radikanu wrapping up proceedings with a straight sets victory. Maybe Emma, just a few thoughts about today's match. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously no one wants to win by retirement, but um, yeah, Diana is an extremely ferocious competitor, so I knew it was going to be a tough match going in, and um, I'm really happy with the way that I stayed in the point and uh, was fighting the whole way through, so yeah, I'm happy to be into the next round. You came here on Wednesday. How do you like it here in Porto Rosh in Slovenia? Yeah, I came here really early, and it's been really, really nice here. Uh, I think it's a beautiful place to have a tournament and um, yeah just amazing views great sunsets food super fresh so uh, yeah I'm loving my time here thank you and good luck thank you Damoshenka, ten applause. Emma, Raducanu. Emma Raducanu making her debut here at the Slovenia Open arrived on Wednesday started practicing on Thursday seems to love everything there is about this tournament a beautiful location she says the Food is super fresh. And her tennis was pretty decent too. One hour and 18 minutes to overcome the threat of the Ukrainian. Really good percentage behind both first and second serves. 20 more total points than her opponents and four breaks of serve from five opportunities. That's nice and efficient. And a good day at the office for Emma Raducanu who will now get a day off. Not playing doubles here. And um, we'll resume main draw action on Wednesday. Radikanu will be playing either Elizabeth Mandlik, that's the daughter of Hannah Mandikova, or Anna Lina Friedsom, player who's come through qualifying. Anastasia Potapova, we already know, is through. She'll await the winner of the Vekic parry match. So a very competitive little section of this draw. Could it be Raducanu against Potapova in the quarterfinals? We shall see. For now, for the team, I'm Candy Reid. Thanks so much for your company. Good night.